Akino is by far better than Riz. I'm gonna I'm be real with you. He's yeah. one of the most underrated white fools of all time. Now, if you're hearing the name Akino and Riz and you like, yo, what, what are you even talking about? Hey, my boy, let me bless you real quick. They from a show called High School DXD. And in the show, I don't know a better way to put this, but you basically die. And when you die, you have your an option to quote unquote, sell your soul to be reborn and to serve a devil. Now, now I know it sounds crazy as hell and I wouldn't ever tell anybody to do anything as crazy as that. No hearing that makes the show not that interesting or creepy. I don't I don't know how you might feel and I'm not gonna assume, but the show, the, the show is good, gang. It's a good show. The show follows our main character, Issei, who's a bitch. What did he say? Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. It follows Issei on his journey to become a stronger devil while serving in the house of Rhea's Grimmery, but it follows one dude and, and a whole bunch of other people as their goal is to become the strongest devils. We, we just gonna leave it at that. Throughout the entire show, the main character we're always fed is Rhea's. And most people eyes, Rhea's is the creme de la creme. She's the top of the top. I'm not gonna lie. Shorty built different. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you. But they always present Rhea's in a way where your focus is always gonna be on Rhea's. The creator always made it so that your focus would be on Rhea's and that Rhea's is the best. And that's not really the truth. I personally feel that Akino is better. She actually is. And Akino should have been a founding member in the Waifu Hall of Fame. To a lot of the people, they say, you know, Rhea's, Rhea's is the queen. She baddie. She is the end all be all to a lot of people. And that's cool. But let's look at the attributes. Let's, let's see why Akino is really in the fight. Shorty 5'6 with violet eyes, violet, purple, beautiful eyes, black hair with a bust of 102 centimeters, a waist of 60 centimeters and hips 89 centimeters. Now gang, like I say, Shorty built different, but let me show you where she built better. Now both her and Rhea's have a bra size J. Our baby Akino has a bra size 40 J. I used to pray for times like this. Being the largest in the series. Now look, if it was all about breast size, if it was all about a nice body, if that was the only thing that quantified a character in being in the Waifu Hall of Fame, there's so many other characters in the show that's in the fight because the show drew a lot of characters with great figures and that's cool gang i love this I'm, I'm not gonna lie me getting into this i'm starting to love these shows these shows are gas for real keep drawing them this way but like i said if that was the only key of why she's better than Rhea's, there's so much more competition and you got Zenovia, karokia you even got Rosewise fine stuff. Now, Shorty, I know, I know you down bad. I know you got bad. You know, you know, when it comes to you and the men, Miss Rosewise, you you suck. But let your boy Aaron save you. Let me help you. Let me be the hero you always needed. I'm sorry, Mama Akano. Let me let me get back on track. My fault, gang. All the while, while the show was making every character appealing in their own right, the entire time the show kept putting Reese in the forefront. Oh, Akano is fine. So is Reese. Oh, Zenovia is freaky. So is Rhea's. So no one character could outshine Rhea's because how she was written and how the show was written, it was about Issei, but Rhea's was always the forefront, which it makes sense. And the thing is there, there's a lot of stuff that was shown in the show that proves Akino etches out more and more from Rhea's. Now for this, we gotta hop into the scouting report. So we get in the nitty gritty. Now the scouting report gives us key events in the show that gives us the good, the bad, and the ugly, and even more so gives us an explanation or evidence of why Akino is better than Reyes. Now, I know somebody in the comment like, no, you no, know, you jackass, Akino. There's no way Akino is better than Queen Reyes. Queen Reyes is everything we always want. Hey, calm down, calm down. The show already made her that. And am I saying the show's wrong? Yes, yes I am. That's not to say Rhea's isn't a waifu, but I'm saying that Akino is a better one. Before we can even move forward and talk about why Akino is better than Rhea's, you gotta talk about one person, and that's Issei. I don't think I've ever hated a main character in my life how I hated Issei. Bro got everything he could want, and he's still fumbling the bag. 
bag. You waking up around naked women and you still can't understand the situation you're in? I hate you. I hate you, Issei. You're a loser. And I know it's fake, but damn. The reason why Issei as a character is so pivotal in proving that Akina was better we got to go through a list of interactions that happened in between Issei and Akino and just our interactions with Akino. The first introduction to Akino was cool. She dropped the hardest Anna, Anna. that has ever existed in anime. Ooh, that got my gears going, God damn, on, talk to me nice. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even this? For the first time we see her in action, that's what really matters. It went like this. Uh and that's when we see the real <laughs> her shorty freaky as hell and yes gang that's going on the scouting report she's freaky well let's go forward in episode four when this happened <gasps> 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 No. You like that, huh? Yeah. You like that. Look it. You see why I hate him? Do you, oh. do you see why I hate him? He's a bitch. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I hate Issei. I, I just I just got one question, bro. I just got one question for you. How does it feel to live my dream? <laughs> now now let's focus on this moment for a second. This show did a great job of making her just so magnificent. Also her transformation, A1 Yola. I gotta blur it, but I'ma show it to you. But just know, you know what I'm saying? My fault OGs, I know you wanna see something, but this YouTube. And then we had another incident in episode seven that went like this. I'm so slimy and wet. Bro, this is not a show you could watch with your family around. Like, cause this joint is crazy. So you might be wondering, well, what next on the scouting report can make her just so much better than Riz? shorty was athletic now i know i know Rias was athletic too but we not focusing on her let's let's check out let's check out i can know y'all can't keep up with us we like being in this arena period y'all can't hang you gotta do this for east face d if you could dodge a wrench you could dodge the ball girl he's mine no he's not hey siri play he's mine he's mine that should have been fun but i got him all the like i said she's freaky and she's athletic when you put one and one together that equals two two something to do some shorty right there with you know what I'm saying? you i'm you don't even get it for real but that's okay long as you understand now the last thing in the scouting report that i personally feel makes akino better than riz akino is completely and utterly down for the team now you might be saying, yo, yo, what you talking about? There's moments where, where we see Riz down for the team. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff where Riz brought Akino to sleep with Issei, all these different things. But, but, but there's a difference. Akino at no point in time ever let her jealousy take control of her feelings in a situation in regards to her and Issei. Now you might be asking, yo, Aaron, what do you mean? And the first time she even confessed her love for the boy, she was like, yo, I'm cool with being your third. And he was like, my third, what you talking about, shorty? What you mean by that, your third wife? I'm okay with being your third wife. Whereas with Rias, a lot of the time there was a, a selfishness. This put Akino above Rias. Now, after hearing all this, you're still like, they sound in the same ballpark. That's cool. That's perfectly fine. That's because we ain't got in the stats yet. Stats are those things, those accomplishments, those goals, the things that solidify a, a sports player, uh, whatever, in their respective Hall of Fame. Akino is very unique. Unlike Miko, Akino only has two stats that I personally feel is worthy to talk about that make her and put her in the top spot above Rias and should make her founding member of the Waifu Hall of Fame. Since the Waifu Hall of Fame is already founded, we just gotta put her in there. So we're solidifying why she deserves to be there. The first that we need to talk about and possibly the most important one is when he asked out Akino in front of Rias. It went like this. Hey, Akino. I can know if you win, I'm gonna give you this D. He said, that's all you had to say. He said, how could you? Girl, relax, you not gonna win, he mine. Cap, my body better, the cat wetter. Relax, Wendy's. Did you just call me Wendy's? 
Now, hold on, hold on, gang, before you cut my head off. I know Konako told him to do it. I know it was Konako's suggestion, but there's something here that I think everybody missed. In this one moment, after Issei asked Akino out, Akino got stronger. And granted, after she got stronger, she was excited. She was like, hell yeah, I'm, I'm turned up. Rias in turn, out of jealousy, began to get stronger as well. Now you might be like, yo, what this got to do with anything? I don't understand the point you're trying to make. Well, let's get into it. Rias, back early in the show, when it came out that Akino wanted Issei, she viewed her as a real threat, a actual threat. She never viewed Asia as a threat. She never viewed anyone else as a threat, as true competition, but she did view Akino as competition. Even more so, she viewed her as someone who Issei had room in his heart for. Even more room than her, because let's be honest, up to this point, Issei never asked Arias. Now, my memory could be a little clouded, and you could correct me if I'm wrong. Now, the last thing and the last stat that literally solidifies that Akino is better than Rias is personally one of my favorite stats, and it's my favorite thing about Akino as a character. In DXD, characters don't really grow. They don't develop. They don't change much. Of course, they start talking more and things like that. You, you get to see more of them. She continued to develop as a character, as a person. The ability to grow and evolve as a character is by far more attractive than already being perfect. The first time we see this is when she acknowledges her heritage, that she's the daughter of a fallen angel and a human, but that was only part of it. The second part still existed. Shorty hated her daddy. Don't speak his name. I am nothing like that creature. She felt her dad was responsible for all the things that happened to her. The fact that he wasn't there to protect her mom when she died, it's so many things. So she not only did she hate her dad, she hated fallen angels. And to grow as a character, she accepted, hey, it wasn't his fault, it was these people fault. It's childish for me to still feel this way. I have to let this go. I know it ain't your fault everything happened. That's, I'm sorry, I forgive you. I hope you can forgive me because I know I said some mean stuff. Overcoming these two obstacles, they not easy, but, but choosing to be better is never easy. That's hot as hell. I personally, you know what I'm saying? This is one of those things that gets my gears going. This growth not only proves, but it solidifies the fact she deserves to be in the Waifu Hall of Fame even more than Reese. Reese in the show didn't have much growth, didn't have much development. In my personal opinion, she did grow some, she did change some, but if we're talking comparable to Akino, Akino grew just in years in this series. And this is personally why I feel like Akino deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Now, when it, when it comes to waifus, Akino got more going for her than Riz. That's not saying that Riz isn't a waifu, but she not better than Akino. But as a character and everything, all the attributes, all the stats, the scouting report, all that together puts Akino in the waifu hall of fame. If you enjoyed this inductee, wait until you see the next one. She a new schooler, but shorty banging it out.